Prayers that secure your destiny and resources. Let us pray. Dear Everlasting Father, King of Glory, thank you for the gift of life and the salvation of my soul. Father, I come to you at this hour to commit all that you have given me and made me steward over to your hands. Dear Lord, I have no powers or strength to protect and preserve all that you have given me. Therefore Lord, I come unto you, committing all that you have given me into your hands for protection, preservation, and security, for everything committed into your hands is safe and secure, for none can force things out of your hands. Like the Lord Jesus Christ says in John, chapter 17, verse 15. I do not pray that you should take them out of the world, but that you should keep them from the evil one. Lord, in accordance with the Lord's prayer. Lord, I pray that you protect my destiny and my resources from all evil and evildoers. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Lord, I ask not for this alone, but also that you protect, preserve, and guard everything of interest to me, including my loved ones, members of my household, and all that have my interest at heart. In the name of Jesus Christ. For according to your word in John chapter 10, verse 10. The devil, whom your word describes as the thief, is always on the mission of stealing, killing, and destroying, as your word says. The thief does not come except to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I have come that they may have life, and that they may have it more abundantly. Therefore, dear Lord, I pray and ask that you save and secure all that I have from theft, destruction, and being killed by the devil. In the name of Jesus Christ. For your name Lord is a strong tower. Your word says in Proverbs 18, verse 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous run to it and are safe. Father Lord, I hereby run with all that I have into your name, my strong tower. Father, let me and all you have given me continue to remain under your care and protection. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God, do to me according to your word of Psalm 121, from verses 5 to 8, which says, The Lord is your keeper, the Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil, he shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in, from this time forth, and even forevermore. Lord, I claim these as your words for myself, my household, my well-wishers, and all that you have given me. In the name of Jesus Christ, as says Lord, in Psalm 91, from verses 10 to 11. That no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. Father, I put my faith in your word and your blessed promises. O Lord, do unto me, my household, and my resources as your word promises in this scripture. In the name of Jesus Christ. You say Lord, in Isaiah 54, verse 17. That no weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is for me, says the Lord. Therefore, everlasting Father, King of glory, may no weapon, covert or overt, formed against me prosper, and every accusation or contention against me I condemn it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, grant me full inheritance in you as your begotten child. For your word says in John chapter 1, verse 12. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, to those who believe in his name. Father Lord, you know I have received and believe in your name, grant and release all my blessings and heritages to me, O Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God, watch over me, in accordance with your word in Psalm 121, verse 8. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. My God, you also say that I will live and dwell in safety, according to Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 33. But whoever listens to me will dwell safely, and will be, a secure, without fear of evil, and that your angels will surround me and delivers me. Psalm 34, verse 7. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and he delivers them. Lord, 
no matter how bad a situation may seem, I will always trust in the Lord. And Lord, in Psalm 112, verses 6 to 7, your word says, Surely he will never be shaken, the righteous will be in everlasting remembrance. He will not be afraid of evil tidings, his heart is steadfast, trusting in the Lord. Father Lord, grant it to me and my household in accordance with your faithful promises in your word. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, according to Proverbs 3, verses 24 through 26, you say, When you lie down, you will not be afraid, yes, you will lie down and your sleep will be sweet. Do not be afraid of sudden terror, nor of trouble from the wicked when it comes. For the Lord will be your confidence, and will keep your foot from being caught. Dear Lord, I beseech you to arise and defend the integrity of your word, by ensuring that my sleeps are sweet and free of terror, intimidation, and demonic attacks, and harassments, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I beseech you to keep me in all that you have given me safe at all times, in the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Holy Father, remember your word in Psalms 91, verses 1 to 4 which says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler, and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you shall take refuge, His truth shall be your shield and buckler. Therefore, dear Lord, according to your word, protect me, preserve me, deliver me, my household, and all that you have blessed me with, in accordance with your word and in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, dearly beloved Heavenly Father, for answering me, for in Jesus' name I pray. Amen.